Now let's implement the login feature that is sign in user with email and password using the Firebase authentication and with Firebase real time database as we will check if the user is blocked or not by the admin. So the first thing is as you know that on the sign in page when the user click on the button login just like on the sign up for example when the user click on the sign up button we first will edit the sign up form and then we call the method which is sign up user now okay so in the same way we can do here on our sign in page that is first we will validate sign in form so above the widget build let's implement first we check the email if the email is valid if it contains at the red sign so we can say if the at the red signs it do not contains then we can say associate method dot show snack bar the message will be email is not valid then we check the password and then if the password is correct if the email is correct that is if the form is validated then simply login user so we can say sign in user now so let's implement this first we will display the dialog box that is the loading progress bar and then after it we will have the try catch block just like we did here of course here it was for creating a user but here it will be for sign in so what we can do is you can simply copy this whole try catch block from the sign up up to this catch copy this come back to the sign in page and simply paste that here now let's keep changing this so user is the firebase auth and as I told you this is sign in user with email password the rest of the thing will remain the same after when the user is signed in successfully remove this user data map after the successful user authentication or you can say sign in we are going to check if firebase user not equals to null which means the user is authenticated successfully then in that case we are going to check the status of the user so user that logged in user you can say database reference this is the status which we have to retrieve and check if it is equals to yes then the user will not be allowed to go inside the home page yes simply means that the user is blocked by the admin if it is no it means the user is allowed to use the app so for that we create that reference okay that is inside the user's parent node that logged in user which means user's parent node that logged in user and then we check for block status so we say first let's fetch that that is wet reference dot once dot then and we can give it name as data snapshot now this data snapshot simply means this okay that is this is the reference which we fetch okay so the data coming from the database it is accessible by this data snapshot okay which means using that data snapshot we can access block status email ID name and phone for this user 
for example like we will check if data snapshot dot snapshot dot value we are going to check the value as map string dynamic that is as map and the value we are checking make sure to add this inside the if the block status is equals to no then it simply means that this is a approved account so if it is approved account we will retrieve information like the username and also we will retrieve the phone number of the user and we will assign it to the variables to the global variable go to the global dot dot let's initialize two variable username user phone so the name we retrieve from the database we will assign to the user name variable global variable and similarly user phone will be assigned to the user phone variable now after that we will send the user to the home page so let's create a new folder inside the lib we will call it name as uh, pages so right click on pages new dot file and we will give it name as home underscore page for now we will just leave this page empty like create stateful widget by the name home page later on of course we will work on it so let's send the user to home page using navigator.push similarly if the block status is yes it means the user is blocked by the admin so in that case we want to make sure that the user logged out okay automatically and then we display the snack bar we will tell you are blocked contact admin at this email here you can of course write your own email let's say admin at the red and drive dot com it is totally up to you as we will develop two kind of applications that is one is for the users other one is for the drivers so here before we proceed and check the block status we are going to check first also the record for this query if it exists or not inside the user's parent node so for that we can say if data snapshot dot snapshot dot value if it is not equals to null if it is not equals to null it simply means that this record exists inside the user's parent node that is the user exists so this code will execute after that okay otherwise if it is not if it is equals to null then in that case it means this user do not exist inside the user's parent node then we will display message that your record do not exist as a user and also we want to make sure to sign out the user automatically just like here after the successful login and checking the block status we send the user to the home page in the same way you can do on the sign up that is after successful sign up you can send the user to the home page one more thing which we have to check is on the main page that is our default page so here we are going to check something now and that is we will check is if the user is already logged in okay we will say firebase auth dot instance dot current user so if the current user has a value equals to null it means the user is not logged in so in that case send the user to the sign in page otherwise else send the user to the home page now before testing the application make sure to delete the old app because uh, we have add this condition on the main page which is check if the user is already logged in or not and according to that it will send the user to the desired page 
okay so as you know previously we sign up successfully so according to that it will send the user to the home page and as we implemented sign in so we want to test the sign in feature because we have not yet implemented the sign out feature in our this application so we cannot logged out that's why I delete the old app first and now let's wait and again I will tell you guys to please test the application on your real phones not on the emulators so for example if I just write any wrong user which is not registered just to see if it shows I mean what it will do you see incorrect okay there is no user like this as you can see now for example I'm going to log in with the user who is registered but let's say wrong password then let's say what it shows us login and you see the supply dot credential is incorrect that is the password is incorrect so I have to provide uh, valid email and valid password let's say if the email missing at the red sign then this is of course the form validation which will say email is not valid so everything must be correct in order to log in successfully so log in please wait and as you know that after the here we have to check something sign in user we show the dialog box in case of error remove the uh, dialog loading dialog and here we have to fix this that is on the sign in page we forgot to remove this that is navigator.pop context and this is sign in so we can say let's say logged in logged in successfully and it will not be here it will be inside here okay it will be inside here and we need to move this navigator.pop from here to the else part if there is any error occurred then the else part we want to uh, remove that is stop displaying this dialog box the loading dialog box so inside this else part and of course inside this else part here we already add that so yeah, that's it in case of successful login we are already directing the user to the home page so now we can test the app let's remove this that is uninstall the app first the old one install the app on the phone please test the app on your real phone so the app is running now and now let's quickly log in as a user one two three four five six password logged in successfully and the reason why you don't see this uh, show snake bar because the home page is currently empty again we have a placeholder with back background by default so we are redirected to the home page